Line up in PowerPoint and it's going to be very easy. So step one, go to PowerPoint and this might be your, what do we call it, start screen. So in layout you have to select blank and now let's get to collecting some pictures. So uh, I'm going to include Raya from Raya and the Last Dragon 2. So collect all the pictures like, so I've collected all of them already but I'm just going to show you. The one thing you have to keep in mind, search, put the word princess after every name and find a picture that is somewhat like this. It should have a white and grey background at its back so that you can have ease selecting the picture and inserting it. Save all these pictures in a particular folder. <coughs> you can save them or wherever you want. And after you have done that, that is a very important step of saving the pictures. Uh, you, after you have saved them, yes. After you have saved them, you have to insert all of the pictures in PowerPoint. So I'm going to insert all the pictures and um just a minute um done. So now I've got all the Disney princesses in PowerPoint. Now I told you to select this kind of picture. Where is it again? Yes, this kind of picture, which which have these little check box pattern being behind them. So as you can see, now I don't have the background of the picture. This is a very crucial step in making a princess lineup. Now, now other parts are easy. You just have to, you know, set the princesses in your little PowerPoint PPT. So let's start with Raya. I want Raya in the middle because she's new, you know. So pressing her hair, let's press Elsa behind Raya like this. We can place Anna like here. You might be wondering how I have these already behind them. So let's consider Merida or... Oh, wow. Okay, like... Okay, you know, let's continue. I'm going to tell you that later. Let's put Snow White here. And we have got Merida. We can place Merida with Snow White's head. Okay, so... This doesn't look good because Merida's dress and Anna's dress is pretty much the same. So we're going to place Snow White. Mm, how can we select Snow White? Yes, Snow White behind Anna. Let's place Merida behind Elsa. Yes. You can press down the send backwards to adjust the positions in front and at the back of each other. Yeah, that look that looks good. Yes, that looks good. Now let's get Ariel. Okay, we're going to get. Okay, let's take Pocahontas. That doesn't matter. Now with Pocahontas's hair this side, Pocahontas will look good this side. So we're going to send it back, Merida, and we're going to place it like. Yeah, this looks a perfect place for Pocahontas. Now let's get um, Aurora because she had a very different dress than what's her name again? Mula M Snow White. Yes, Snow White. But she's got her flair in the side, so she'd probably look good here. Yeah, that's perfect. Now um, let's place Ariel with Snow White. What matters is that the second princess should be back the first one. So now if this had been this, this doesn't look good. So we need this as the perfect liner. So aligning this with Aurora. Let's get Rapunzel now. It's very simple to make Disney princess lineups in PowerPoint because we've got a lot of, we got a variety of features, a lot of features. So let's just shorten it up and place it behind. Yeah, that looks good. Don't you feel that Snow White is a little out? So, so is Ariel now and so is this. Yeah, that looks very good yet. We can shift Raya a bit here. Now let's get Mulan and where should we place her? We should probably place Mulan behind Aurora. Because her dress fits best behind.
behind Aurora because we can be able to see the proper colors and all. Okay, so now we let's place Cinderella. Supposed to be placed here. We can place Moana here and Tiana here. Yeah, that looks very nice. Placing Moana. We have to send her backward. Sending the princess images backward is a very crucial step, and you cannot never forget it. Yes, Moana can come here. Okay, her face looks over extra large. That looks perfect. Now the last princess that is Cinderella. So Cinderella could be placed. Uh, I can send to back directly. If that is a perfect Disney princess lineup as I think it is. No, I mean this doesn't look good on a white screen, does it? So we need a background. So you can right click, format background. And then you can go to gradient because I think so a gradient would look good. Okay, so what about we choose? We make a gradient. We make a, we're going to make a radial gradient. And for the direction, let's place this. Let it be white and okay for this color I'm going to choose a bit that is kind of peach shade. Whitish pinkish white, you can say. Oh, oh, we placed the wrong. Okay, let's. We need to change it. Yes, we can adjust these, and we can just take it a bit lighter here. Yes, and here just a bit more lighter, like about here. Now, tell me, doesn't that look good? Wait a minute, Aurora's dress and the color of the background is kind of similar now and it doesn't look that contrasty. So I'm going to change the background color to why don't we take red? No, we can't take red. Let's just lighten up the shade of pink. Or why shouldn't... No, let's... What do you suggest? Can we take blue? Radial? Okay, that looks perfect. It's just that the blue color coincides a little bit with Elsa's dress. Okay, so can we darken Elsa's colors? Mm, I don't think so we can. Wow, yeah, we just did that. We just have to remove the... Can you see? She's got a little white shade here. So we are removing the background. Removing background gets you an image without background. If you are unable to find images that are without background already, you can bring them to PowerPoint and remove their background. The pink shade would be excluded and we'll get the white one separately. Wow. Now look at that. We've got a perfect Disney princess lineup and made entirely by ourselves. And you know what the best, what's the best thing about this? We've got Elsa, we've got Anna and we've got everybody's new dresses and we've got Raya. I mean this lineup looks beautiful and perfect so yeah that's pretty much it you can make several modifications like you can change the place of Disney princesses so I can like switch Elsa and Cinderella or something and if you want to focus on a particular now the question is what will you do if you want to focus on just a particular princess that you want everything to be black and white and you want like let's say Raya, we want Raya to be colored and everything else black and white. So that is going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Just go to um, copy, right click on the, your slide and press copy, then press Control M. Now format background and paste this image. So now as you can see, we have got a Disney princess liner. Okay, now what I'm going to do Okay, I think I've gone wrong somewhere. Oh yes, I have gone wrong. I need to paste it there, but if I paste it, this is going to happen. Yes, I just went all wrong. I'm very sorry for that inconvenience. So what you need to do is you need to print screen or you need to take a screenshot of this much part. I'm telling you a very simple way. 
Okay, and paste it here. Now you've got your Disney princess line up perfectly. Okay. And in the color option, like here, set black and white. So everything is going to black and white. Now from here, take this, control C, replace it here. You can see. Uh, okay, let's make a little bit of animation here. Let's add an animation. Let's get a fade. So, and uh, if we see in slideshow now, so we're going to get a colored Disney Princess liner. But see, everything went black and white except Raya. Now, that is the beauty of PowerPoint. That I just simply did that I'm focusing on Raya. Okay, let's say I don't... Oh, sorry. Let's say I don't want to focus on Raya anymore. Um, I'm going to go Control M and Control V. And now let's focus on Elsa. And now we're going to focus on Elsa so let's just put the free transition and then let's focus on Anna I think so that would be pretty great and let's or what about this okay that's a better idea we should bring let's bring every Disney princess one by one into color from black and white to color we just have to send some stuff back. So now here, we've got Raya, Raya and Elsa, Raya, Elsa and Anna. Now let's get Snow White. And we've got Snow White. Just you have to send everything back again. Now we've got Snow White. Then let's get Merida. let's see this much first otherwise you can continue it yourself so this is a Disney princess lineup so, particularly Raya Raya and Elsa then comes Anna then comes Snow White and then comes Merida and so and so you can continue your series with the same picture and adding the colored parts and colored counterparts into the black and white so this is how you can make a Disney princess lineup and I've taught you one or two thing about transitions and like coloring too so this is this was kind of a beginner tutorial for powerpoint and thank you and i will see you in my next video bye bye